I brought my candy cane. Anywho. Now I kind of forgot what I was going to say. Um, oh yeah, um. I will tell you this. Um, this is for any trans people out there. Trans male, trans female, trans boy, trans girl, trans tired, whatever. There is no certain way to look. I say I, I'm I'm a trans male, and what I noticed about this community is that a lot of people expect you to be a certain persona. In other words, they want you to be the sports loving guy. You know, with the muscles and the tattoos and you know, the one that looked like you just got out of jail, you know? And they want you to be in this beer, sports, and titties. Guess what? Not all guys are like that. Sorry. And, and, but a lot of people in the trans community tries to fit in with like a certain persona. They don't just go, well, I'm going to wear this and wear that because, you know, it looks right on me. It's guy clothes. They go, no, I got to get the, uh, I got to get certain types of shirt. I got to get shirt that says sports things on them or a Jimi Hendrix shirt. But that's what guys wear. You know, or I got, I can't have a... You know, I can't have this. Well, what would be a good example? Oh, I can't have this type of ring because it has a heart on it. And guys are supposed to have skulls and like hardcore stuff. Not all guys do. You know, you don't have to choose a certain style. You know, look around you at the men in the world. You know, you turn on TV, you don't see guys on acting the same. You see guys who are manly, guys who are jerks, guys who are in between, guys who like sports, guys who like games, guys who like, you know, uh, electronics, guys who like uh, reading. You got classical guys, you got modern guys, you got tech guys. You got... Um, what I call the Harvard guys or the Yale guys you know the guys who um, wear they don't wear blue jeans they wear like um, what they call that stuff not lounge clothing they wear like uh, polo shirts and khaki you know like uh like golf clothing, you know, that, that sort of, yeah, that, that sort of look. They wear that. And, you know, they, some of them wear that. Some of them wear biker clothing and blue jeans. And some, on the other hand, wears clothes like skateboarders do. Or, you know, football clothes basketball sports clothing they don't all dress the same so why should trans people have to be a certain way you know and there's a lot of uh, people asking you oh are you on the T testosterone mm. no I'm not on testosterone well you can't be transgender if you're not on testosterone really Seriously? Because the way I look at it is people have to realize it, testosterone is a medicine. Uh, it's a medicine that has side effects. Not everybody's body can handle side effects, you know? Some people, think of it like this, some people can't take aspirin. Because it interferes with other medicines that they take, and it interferes with 
the body. Maybe it, you know, constipates them or gives them diarrhea. Maybe it, uh, you know, maybe it causes some other side effect that they don't like. Maybe it makes you cramp and bloat, gives you PMS even worse than natural periods ever did. So, you know, you don't have to be on the tea unless you want to. You know, try it out. If it don't, if it gives you any interaction, uh, any, like, bad side effects, you don't need to be on it. You know, you don't need to bind your boobs to be trans. You know, there's always that, oh, you gotta pat them down, pat them down. No. Find a way to, you know, pat them down that you feel comfortable. You know, it, it depends on your boob size, really. Uh, some girls wear like a sports bra or some, you know, does stuff like that. But whatever is comfortable. You know, you gotta be in your body 24 hours a day. So, you gotta wear something that is comfortable for you. Not what everyone else thinks is comfortable for you. Um. So, uh, you know, and another thing. They say, oh, well, you gotta set pee. You gotta pee standing up. Because that's what guys do. Talk to a bunch of guys and ask them. Have they ever... For whatever reason, have they ever sat down and peed instead of standing up? Majority of the times they do pee standing up. But some do sit down and pee. You know, some, um, you know, some guys say like in the mornings, you know, you're kind of half asleep and groggy. They say, oh, I, I sat down on the toilet and I pee. Because I'm half asleep and don't feel like standing at home and end up pissing on the cat. But, um, you know, just do what feels comfortably for you. You don't, you don't have to go, alright, I'm going to quickly take all these pills and remove my boobs and get a penis. And have my name legally changed. I'm going to do that all in two weeks. No, take your time. You don't have to even have the surgery. You don't have to have the testosterone. You know, I see a lot of guys that don't have massive Grizzly Adam beards. Some do. Just remember, they're, they're not one type of guy out there. Nor do there have to be one type of trans.